Okay. There's a couple different kind of barb fittings. This one, I'm sure I got from the supply house. And this one, I'm sure I got from Lowe's. The barbed pieces are a little bit thicker. More ridges. A little bit longer. I bet this one fits better. You really could almost get away without using hose clamps. I like to put two of them on there just for good measure. I always suggest putting those on first. Yeah, you can see how this one won't just slide in there like that other one was. And that's where the rubber mallet will come in handy. Some people will heat these up with a torch. Makes it a little easier to screw them in. Or I mean push them in there. I like just beating them in with the rubber mallet. Then we will try to screw these threads into that side of the well tee. Maybe a little tricky, but we'll get it done. If I was going to screw the threads into the well tee first, then I would probably heat the pipe up.
these are 5 sixteenths. So you can either use a ratchet or I got a 5 sixteenths nut driver. Because this pump is a submersible pump and it's not above ground, we don't have to prime it. All we have to do is flip the breaker on to get water in the system. Now, I always suggest, just in case, solder joints that could potentially leak or maybe with all this you forgot to tighten something up I always suggest dealing with your uh, shut your main valve off and then turn your breaker on that way if there's a leak it's not that big of a deal you don't have to drain the system and deal with all that crap Okay, Miss Miller, go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so I got her turning the water on. You can hear it. Coming in. That should kick off at about 60. Because it's a 46. Yeah, it looks good. It's a 4060 switch. I don't hear anything hissing or spraying, so we don't have any leaks. You know, there could be something dripping, but I'm doubting it. So now I'm gonna turn the main valve on. And pressurize the house. I've done a video talking about packing nuts. This packing nut on this valve is right here. So if it starts dripping out of the bottom of the stem, then you just tighten that nut up. And you're going to tighten it up clockwise. Like so. But that's it. We successfully replaced a bladder tank, well T, pressure switch, gauge, and so on. Hope that helps you.